Chapter 10, Lesson 1, um, our hands-on activity, part of a number. So, we, it says that we can use bar diagrams to find parts of a number. So, it says 1 fourth of 16 is the same as 16 divided by 4. So, they've created a bar diagram, and they've put 16 in it, okay? And because our denominator is 4, we have to divide it into 4 equal sections, which they've done here for you. Okay, so how do we split 16 evenly amongst these sections? Well, let's look. It says, Layla threw 16 pitches in the first inning of a softball game. Of the pitches she threw, 3 quarters of them were strikes. How many strikes did she throw in the first inning? So we're going to convert three quarters into the actual number of strikes that she threw. Okay? So we're going to find three fourths of 16, which this is the same as saying three fourths times 16. Okay? Of means times. So the bar diagram represents the number of pitches that she threw. Remember, we started that up here at the top. Okay, one quarter. So how much is each section evenly? Well, we know that four, four times is 16. So four pitches belong in each box. And she said three quarters of them were strikes. So we're going to mark off three quarters of the pitches. Okay, so three out of the four boxes were strikes. So how many pitches is that? Since the denominator is four, the bar diagram was divided into four equal sections that we knew, and each section of the bar represented four pitches. So we're going to use the bar diagram to determine three-fourths of 16, and they wrote that here. They wrote 4 plus 4 plus 4. So 4 times 3 is 12. So 3 fourths of 16 is 12. So Layla threw 12 strikes. Of her 16 pitches, 12 of them were strikes. So let's try it. Okay. We're going to find 1 third of 15 using the bar diagram. Okay, so we know that 15 goes here on our bar diagram and we know that our denominator is 3 so it needs to be divided into 3 equal sections. Since the denominator is 3, the bar diagram was divided into how many equal sections? You're right, 3. So each section of the bar diagram represents, because remember, it has to total 15 let me slide that down a bit. So each section is how many? Well, 3 goes into 15 five times. So each section represents 5. So 1 third of 15 is the same as 15 divided by 3, which is the same as 1 third times 15. So what is 1 third of 15? Well, one-third of that 15 is 5. 15 divided by 3 is 5. So one-third of 15 equals 5. Okay. I'm going to stop there. Thanks for listening.